<laughs> um, it was a good feeling. It was nice to be back out on a field where points count. It's not, you know, quick whistles being blown. You get to run around. You get to have a little com competitive juices flying. But, you know, we were, we were looking for quarters on the play, and we got it. It was, it was an awesome look. I told KJ in the huddle to just do what you do best and run really fast, and I'll put it out there for you to go get it. And it played out just like we thought it would. It was actually two different plays, believe it or not. Kind of, we were kind of looking for the same defense on both of those plays, and we're kind of attacking the same area, but um, actually two separate ones. Drew, were you, were you happier with the way that you played, or more relieved? I would say happier, uh, absolutely happier. Um, it feels good to be able to, you know, put some points up on the board when you're in there, be able to come in a locker room. High five it up, celebrate a little bit, especially after a win, especially after everybody played. Um, I thought it was an awesome showing from everybody. And it was, uh, man, it was just really fun to be a part of. It was fun to keep track of score and say you won something. Drew, we've seen you having a lot of success in the play action. Do you feel more comfortable in the play action? Um, I'd say I'm pretty comfortable about everything that we have going on. Um, I think because of the way that our offensive line and our running backs established the run early in these games, and even last year a little bit in those games when we were really pounding the rock, it just opens that whole passing scheme up for us, all the play action shots, which, um, so hats off to the O-line running backs for letting that happen for us. When you hit Jerry Judy across the middle out of the shot, can you kind of take us through that and what you saw and what you leading up to finding? Yeah, um, I know it was like third and medium, almost third and short, close to being third and short. Um, he got, got to my third read, which was him, and uh, they, covered the, they covered the beginning of the play really well. And that, that concept that we run, sometimes that middle guy gets lost. And sure enough, Jerry's slippery enough to get in there and not be seen, and he was standing there right for me. And uh, that's the typical yak is the quarterback's best friend because um, he sure got us a couple more yards after catch after that play. You had no punts while you are in the game, and that gave you guys momentum um, I mean, yeah, if, if you're not punting the ball, you're obviously doing something right. So that, that, that obviously gives not just Teddy and I confidence, but I think the whole offense. And that's really, I think, our goal as quarterbacks is just get the guys around us feeling confident and great. And I think, you know, we did a good job of being able to, you know, have some guys walk out with their chest pulled back and feeling good going into this next game and going into this week of practice, whatever it may be. Um, that's the, that was the really fun part about playing quarterback today is you got to see a lot of guys smiling, having fun, and, you know, feeling good about playing ball again. How important was it for you to be able to come out and turn over for you? You talked about that as kind of the number one emphasis. To be able to do that while still making the big Yeah. Yeah, that will be important to me every time I step out on the field. Um, but it, it was especially important today. It was good to be able to get off onto a good start, feeling good. Like I said, not only myself, all the guys in the locker room too, um, but just extra emphasis on taking care of the ball, and I thought we all did that pretty well today. Drew, did your heart jump in your throat a little bit when Delonte goes, you know, uh, <laughs> overhead on the second play of the game? And then secondly, just what was your on it? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little nerve-wracking, but he's a tough kid. Um, I said it on the sideline, he's probably one of the youngest – calmest guys I've ever been around. I say young, obviously being a rookie, but he's extremely calm. Um, I haven't seen him quote unquote rattled or the moment's too big. I know we just played in our first preseason game. It's not the regular season, whatever it may be, but um, being next to him back there, it, it honestly gives me a little more you know, calmness, just being able to be relaxed because he knows his job, he knows what he needs to do, and when he gets the ball in his hands, he runs pretty hard. <laughs> Um, not everything. I completed two balls, um, but that'll always go back. Watch those because um, you always want to be perfect. The perfect game's still out there. That's you know, Coach Shula talks about our quarterback test. There's a perfect test. It's still out there, and there's a perfect game still out there. And you know, we want to try to be perfect and learn from it when we're not. A rhythm, yeah. Uh, rhythms huge at the quarterback position. Um, I think that's been one of the 
biggest test for me as far as practice goes and everything is just, you know, one series here, one series there, maybe 10 minute break, coming back on. That's, that's going to simulate a real game for us sometimes. And I, I looked at it like that in practice. Let's picture on a game. They just went on a long drive. Let's go out there and be good. But it really is nice to be able to go into a game, you know, know you're getting the first snap. Here's what we're kind of thinking for plays wise. And let's go out there and, and roll with it, which it, it, it does make it a little more comfortable for you. That was the main goal. Um, Coach Shula and Coach Shermer just when this off season were like, hey, we don't we don't want to start over here in OTAs and going into training camp. I felt like you started playing better as the year went on, better and better each game and let's let's pick up where you left off when you come in and from a mental standpoint and a physical standpoint, I feel like I'm a little past where I left off and, and that feels that feels really good um, to be able to say that right here today. So Okay, thank you.